Hi guys, welcome back to another unboxing video from Toy Coin, and this time round we are gonna unbox another video just for you. Okay, for today's unboxing video, we are gonna unbox quintessential quintuplets. I got that right. Quintessential quintuplets from the movie, yeah. So the movie was just no, it's not just released, it's released a couple of months ago. So this uh this this whole series is actually based off the movie. So you can see that the five girls are actually donned in Shiromuku traditional uh, outfits. Uh, if you all guys don't know, right, Shiromuku are actually worn during um, formal ceremony uh, such as weddings. So uh, they kind of look like wedding gowns. Uh, so I guess this is actually based off another kind of wedding dresses compared to the ones that we had previously. So the one we had previously was just like wedding gowns and stuff. So right now we have the Japanese style uh, Shomoku outfits. So after briefly looking at the figures, right, I think they look wonderful. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys how they look like. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the smaller prizes first. So let's dive in. Okay, what I have here is actually the M price. Uh, M price is the smallest price available. So they are rubber straps in various designs. Uh, I'm going to show you guys in another different angle, close up how they look like. Alright, so we have the M price here, and this is the M price. I'm going to skim through. It's just the girls in their uh, Shiomoku outfits. So they are not blind, thankfully. You can choose the design that you want. This is the second design where you can actually uh, see there is a um, different kind of. Uh, it's different. It's a different flower compared to the first, the first design that we have. Yeah, but it's still in their Shiromoku uniform, not uniform. Sorry, uh, in their Shiromoku outfit. So I guess if you have a favorite waifu, you can get two different designs. Yeah. So that's all for the M price. Hi guys, so I'm back with the L price. L price is actually picture frames of your waifu. And uh, for this picture frames, right, they actually included the stand at the back. Yeah, for you to uh, place it on the, uh, maybe your desktop, your TV console, uh, anywhere you want. Yeah, so uh, it comes in all five uh, designs of your waifu. So uh, you can take a pic, it's not blind. Yeah. So I'm going to change the camera angle and show you guys up close how it looks like. Alright, so we have the L price right now and L price is a photo frame. Mm, you can see that it included the instruction on how to fold the stand so you can actually display on the desk. Yeah, so that's the stand at the back and this is Itsuki. Itsuka. Nino Yotsuba and Miku So yeah, that's the five goals for you This is the L price, L price. Alright, the third smaller prizes that we have in this Kuji is actually uh, K price K price is uh, blind boxes, it's actually the minifix So uh, it comes in a box like that, it's blind and they are about like 4.5 cm tall uh, it's the usual mini fix that we have so uh, i'm gonna unbox them and show you guys in a different angle how they look like okay the k price blind box can't use them hopefully you get the the girl that you want best if you get five then you can get a set yeah so uh as i mentioned earlier it's 4.5 cm tall hmm Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how they look like. So we have Itsuka here. So cute, right? Yeah, at the back. Alright, so uh, that's Itsuka and this is Nino. Oh, they actually, in <laughs> it's actually transparent. The, the cake, they included the cake. Uh, so cute. Alright, so that's Nino. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Nino. <laughs> Alright, this is uh, Miku. Mm -hmm. This is Yotsuba. And 
and this is Itsuki. So cute. Yep. So that's all for the K price. Alright, so that is all for the K price. Uh that's actually all for the smaller prizes. Uh from F G H I J they are actually illustration boards um featuring all the individual goals. Uh at each individual prices so uh, each price is actually one goal so uh, I'm just gonna show you guys all of them all together because there is not really much stuff to talk about um, I'm not too sure whether this you label it as a smaller price uh, but because uh, each price is actually individually priced uh, I think it's considered as a you know consolation price for you guys if you win this yeah so uh, this is F G H I and J Okay, so for this illustration board, right, it's actually a cardboard, it's a hard board um, not, I mean it's made of paper lah, but it's, it's, very, it's very hard paper it's, it's like you can actually throw and it won't you probably hurt somebody, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the illustrations are very nice. You can see them uh, done in the Shio Muku uh, style clothing. Uh, so if you are, I mean, if you got a price that you are not really keen in, we probably can help you trade, provided like the the other party uh, wants the price that you have. Yeah. So that's all for the. FGHIJ prizes. Alright, so we are opening up the figures already. It's the E price on the table right now, and E price is uh, Itsuki. I had to check whether uh, her name is Itsuki because I, uh, I'm always confused between Itsuka and Itsuki because the names are actually very similar. So, yeah, it is Itsuki here, and uh, we are gonna unbox <laughs> her and show you guys how she looks like inside, alright? Alright, so this is uh, Itsuki. Itsuki in a very Genki pose. You, you, you see that she's like uh, running towards you in a way. In, in a way, yeah, in a way. It's like a, a very uh, energetic pose compared to um, the rest of the girls, yeah? yeah, as you can see later on. So she's in a lovely shade of red, that's her color. And uh, moving down, we can uh, let's see her. Uh, see like the, the the chest, the cloth on the chest. There's frills. Uh, nice feature. Oh, I like how they actually made the armpits. You, you can actually see the armpits from here. Nice details. Like they did not like slap <laughs> plastic and cover everything. Yeah. Uh, her expression is great. Itsuki looks like Itsuki. Okay, so moving down, we have like uh, red prints. Uh, oh, the Sakura base, that's is lovely compared to the previous um, Kujis that we had. So moving up, that's her veil. And yeah, looking absolutely wonderful here. So that is all for the E price. Alright, so Itsuki is on the table right now and right now we are going to unbox the D price and D price is Yotsuba. Yotsuba is uh, looking lovely in a lovely green shade of Shiomoku. Uh, I'm just gonna unbox her up and show you guys how she looks like. Alright, so this is Yotsuba. Yotsuba, we have her in a shade of green. That's her colour. Uh, looking at her features, I like I like how the ribbon turns out and I like how the ribbons are at her sleeves very nice details like I think her details are not lacking in any way yeah despite you see like there is like ribbons surrounding surrounding her, 
no okay it's not a surrounding but like you you, you see there's like details you know, like this like the ribbon yeah and uh patterns on the dress so uh i, I want to show you guys the fingers i like how the fingers they made it like they actually look like fingers they are not like joined together in most in most uh, figures they made it like a part very nice uh, what about the other hand Let's see. yeah the other hand uh, doesn't feel as nice but I'm not too sure whether y'all can see but uh, there is the a bit of fingernail that is like being tried try, they tried to like make the fingernails on the on the fingers yes yeah, so uh, lovely Yotsoba I think she is worth it the expression is right by the way she looked like Yosoba at least yeah so <laughs> that's all for the D price alright so uh, D price is on the table already D price is Yosoba next up I'm gonna unbox uh, C price C price is uh, Miku our very uh, favorite Miku <laughs> Yeah, she's in a lovely shade of blue, so um, I'm just gonna unbox her and show you guys how she looks like. Alright, so this is Miku in a lovely shade of blue. I, 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 her hair is covering most of her face, so I can't really make out her expression, but I think the eyes are doing fine. Yeah, so uh, moving down, have a very simple dress. Uh, compared to the rest I feel because she's covering her front um, dress so uh, maybe there is like the usual ribbons and stuff but we can't see because she's covering it so um, moving down we still have the sakura base the very nice base and uh, I like how they actually included a support stand like even though this is a this is not Master Lee's kind of figure like, it's just like the, the simple ones that we had from Kuji, but they still included like the support stand for Miku. And she's the only one with the support stand. Um, probably because her dress is heavy. So at the back is all the small sakura prints and stuff. Her veil, her ribbon, it's uh, not fragile, but you know, it's, you know, it's plastic. So yeah, still okay. And yeah, that's, that, that's it for Miku. She probably has the most least details that uh, one could have, yeah. But I think she still looks lovely lah. Mm. You look how the dress, the dress, the front part, they actually had the crease at her, at her chest. Yeah, so it's all these kind of small details that makes the figures look well made. Yeah. So that's all for Miku for you! Alright, so Miku is on the table. That's the C price for you. Right now, we are going to unbox the B price. And B price, it's Nino. Nino is in a lovely shade of purple. And yeah, uh, just going to unbox her and show you guys how she looks like. Alright, so we have Nino out of the box ready. You, 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 can you all see the mouth? They actually made like a dent. I'm not too sure whether you call this like a nice, a nice detail or not because you know, it looks like her her mouth got a hole, but I mean like it, it's still like three D, so uh, I guess no complaints for me. Um, the expression is nice, the eyes and all looks lovely. Uh, look at the headband, touch of gold. They didn't just make it yellow, ah. Uh, they made it gold. <laughs> Moving down, you can see like there's like gold features of um, uh, accessories here and there. Um, you look at the gloves. The gloves are like you can see like the stripes. It complements with her front clothing. Yep. And uh, moving down, yep, uh, still gold. There's still gold pieces of accessories here and there. She has short skirt. I look. I like her stockings. Sorry, is this stockings? Yeah, this uh, stockings. <laughs> this is the high, 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 high stockings that we often see in anime. Moving down, uh, nice nice base uh, with the sakura prints and everything yeah so uh, I'm gonna turn her around because I like her I, I don't know what you call that cape <laughs> because it's transparent okay it's not transparent it's translucent 
there's like a but butterfly prints all over and very nice feature very nice she's the only one with this kind of feature i think the rest are all solid color yeah so uh they included the the purple ribbon at the back so it makes like it makes it like you can see but you cannot see at the back yeah so i guess you call this a cape very nice yeah they did a good job with nino <laughs> So yeah, here is Nino for you. Alright, that's B price for you. That's Nino. And now I'm holding on Itsuka. And Itsuka is the A price. Itsuka is my favorite. Uh, I know that she is not very popular, but I think her cool personality is uh, what that I, attracts me the most. So um, she's in a lovely shade of yellow. Yeah, so I'm just going to unbox her and show you guys how she looks like. Alright, so I unboxed Ichika already and Ichika is on the table. So, uh, I, I really like how the details are turning out. Look at this, look at her... I, I don't know what you call that, a glove? Her mid glove? Mm, yeah. So there's like a, a print on top of it. Uh, it's actually, it's not a print, it's actually uh, indented, it's the mole. So uh, moving down, right, you can see like her, her clothes has a bit of sh uh, yellow shade. Yeah, because that's a color, right? So moving down, you see the details of the flowers. It's really nice. They did not compromise anything. Like, you know, even though it's like yellow, uh, they actually made it uh, gold-like. So there's this uh, shade of gold instead. And you see how the stockings turns out? Yeah, so uh, moving down, uh, they included a nice sakura print for the base, uh, which is a nice touch instead of a plain one. So moving up again, I, I really like how um, they they did not compromise QQ's uh, Kuji. Yeah, look at the little, little details. Even the flowers look like flowers. <laughs> and of course, there's no, there is no um, defects of the printing. A very nice, a very nice Ichika figure. Yeah, I think that is, expression is very important. And uh, I like how they actually included like uh, a bit of shade on the fingers. Yeah, you can see that, right? Uh, it's not like flat. Like some of the MHA figures that I've encountered. They do not look flat. They actually put in some effort in this. Alright, so I'm down to the illustration board. This is the last price. Um, they like to give illustration board for the last price. Uh, but in my opinion, I think it's, uh, I mean, as a fan, uh, you probably will like it. Uh, for this time round, I think they use a di different illustrator. You can see that uh, the eyes are actually a little bit different compared to the previous uh, uh, Kujis. Yeah. So uh, it may be because, you know, they are, you know, in a Shomoku uh, outfit and they want to put on like nicer makeup. So they look a bit different. I, I do not know the illustration. <laughs> you can actually use this as a backing for the figures. Uh, it's a very nice illustration. Uh, what size is this? Uh? They didn't put the size. So I think it's not a standard size. It's probably like, it's bigger than A4. Like, it's bigger than A4. Yeah. So, mm. all right, so I've unboxed every one of the girls and all the smaller prizes ready. Here you go. The quintessential quintuplets. Five girls. Take your pick, take your pick. Which one is your waifu? <laughs> all right, so I can't understand why people can get over the OCD part. Uh, for me, right, as a collector, I would like to collect every single girl. Uh, it's the complete set. Uh, <laughs> It feels wrong to just collect uh, one girl, yeah? I, I don't know about you guys out there, but that's, that's the OCD in me. I, I can't uh, deal with myself if I just have only one girl. Unless, unless the girl is really, really, really my favorite. 
Um, but most of the time, I do not have a favorite character in uh, any circumstances. Yeah. I believe the figures are pretty well made, as you can see when I unbox them. Uh, all of them looks pretty nice. So if you have your particular waifu, I think uh, none of them looks bad. Yeah, none of them looks bad. Uh, all of them looks very good. I like how Bandai Spirits always uh, put in a lot of effort in their QQ series. Uh, even the smaller prizes, the illustration, you can see that uh, the illustrations are actually different compared to the previous uh, Kujis. Uh, yeah, it's probably a different illustrator. And uh, I like how they always give minifix. Minifix are always a popular uh, choice among uh, the players. They also included rubber straps every single round, but I guess rubber straps are okay because uh, the design-wise, is uh, it, it looks lovely. Uh, it's always nice to collect a set. Um, however, I think they should uh, release more designs because, you know, uh, when people start playing, right, they play a lot. You know, it's always nicer to have, like, uh, different uh, kinds of uh, outfits instead of, like, just one and, you know, you collect. You can easily play, like, five tickets and you got five rubber straps and... The rest is duplicates. <laughs> so my take for this Kuji, uh, just play uh, as you wish uh, to get your waifu. But uh, in my opinion, if you are really very... Uh, I mean, if you are into this uh, anime series itself, it's always nice to get all five uh, girls. Yeah. Alright, that's all for me. And we reached to the end of the unboxing video already. Uh, special thanks to ASOB for loaning us the sample sets once again to show you guys how it looks like up close and personal do remember to subscribe to get notified whenever we release new unboxing video or whenever we go live thank you for your support i'll see you guys in the next unboxing video bye bye